In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix error LS-0013 when trying to launch a game in the Epic Games Launcher. So if I go ahead and try and launch Grand Theft Auto 5, it will then give me this launch failed error message saying that it could not launch Grand Theft Auto 5, please verify the installation. So the first thing that you need to do to fix this error message is just press dismiss. Once you've done that, I know this sounds very simple, but just go ahead and give your computer a restart and then try and launch the game and see if that removes the error message. It's amazing just how many issues can actually be resolved by doing a simple restart within Windows and programs. So once you've done that, and if that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is just unplug all the devices that are currently plugged into the USB ports on your computer. But keep your keyboard and mouse obviously plugged in. However, if you do have a spare mouse or keyboard lying around, then swap them over for the other keyboard and mouse, just in case it is an issue with the keyboard and mouse that you're using. So once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game that you're trying to play and see if that resolves the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure you don't have any programs open in the background when trying to launch the game, as one of these could also be conflicting with the game that you're trying to launch, causing the error message within the Epic Games Launcher. So if that's not the issue, then the next thing we need to do is clear the Epic Games Launcher cache. And to do this, you need to open up File Explorer. Once you have File Explorer open, you now need to click into the address bar at the top and you then need to do the percentage sign and type in local and then app data and then the percentage symbol again and press enter. You now need to scroll down until you find the Epic Games Launcher and then go into this folder and you then need to go into save and you now need to rename the folder that says web cache and if you do have a folder that has underline and then a number Go ahead and rename that folder as well. And we're just going to simply type on the end of it, backup, and then press enter. Now go ahead and launch the Epic Games Launcher and try and launch the game that you're having issues with. Also, you do need to have the Epic Games Launcher closed when changing the folder name. If you do run into other problems with the Epic Games Launcher after renaming this folder, then you can rename it back. Just make sure you delete the new folder that's created before renaming the folder again. Or if it did work and resolved the issue, then you can simply leave it. So once you've done all that, and if you're still having issues, then the next thing we need to do is run the Epic Games Launcher as an administrator. So if you don't know where you've installed the .exe, then you can find it out by opening up the start menu and typing in Epic, and then clicking on open file location, and then right clicking on the shortcut, and then going to open file location, and there we go, there's the .exe. You now need to right click and go to properties, compatibility, and then tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and okay. Now go ahead and launch the game within the Epic Games Launcher and see if that helps. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is go to the location where you installed the game to that you're having issues with. So once you're in the folder, the next thing you need to do is find all the .exes for the game so in Grand Theft Auto, there's two. We got GTA 5 and play GTA 5. You need to right click and go to properties, compatibility, and you need to ensure that run this program as an administrator is turned off. Press apply and okay, and then do the same for any other .exes. Normally this can resolve a lot of issues with games. However, this can also sometimes cause the LS-0013 error. So go ahead now and try and launch the game and see if that worked. If it didn't, then the next thing to do is keep Epic Games Launcher open as we now need to check the game files in case any of them have become corrupt or missing. Once you're in the Epic Games Launcher, all you need to do is go to your library, find the game, click on the three dots, and then click on verify. And like I said, this is just going to check those game files. Once it's finished, go ahead and launch the game. If that didn't work, then the next thing to try would be to either reinstall the Epic Games Launcher, and if that doesn't help, then it would be reinstall the game. But if you're not getting the error code for any other games, but it's only one game, then I would suggest you reinstall the game instead of the Epic Games Launcher. 
So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.